as far as the wrap goes when it comes to wrapping with camo gonna have to go ahead and lay out the whole piece on the panel i'm gonna end up pulling half of the backing off and you actually have to work from the middle and go out and then pulling the other half of it off this way and going this way with as far as laying the wrap down reason for that is is that you can't really do a panel at a time like you normally would do with the wrap you'd like cut a cut a piece for the fender cut a piece for the door and work your way around you can't do that with the patterns if you want the patterns to line up so this makes it really really tricky and it makes it kind of uh, a hard thing to film because I'm gonna kind of start at the door start at the door I'm never really gonna finish everything in one sitting so it might look kind of strange but it's the way you have to do it um, it makes it really tricky when it comes to coming around and keeping your patterns going this way keeping it coming this way all this makes things really really difficult when you pick a you know vinyl that has a pattern so if this is your first time dealing with vinyl wrap don't really recommend doing camouflage but uh, it comes out awesome when you can get it when you get it right uh, you'll see when i start going um got a bunch of these magnets definitely a must at least four of them uh 3m hard card a uh, couple of little tools i'll be using these are just some little things that you're going to use to push uh, the vinyl in between the cracks and things like that and uh, two knives uh, i really like the one that vivid provided for me right here because it's it's a little bigger and gives you something to grab so but this is a little ultra knife also but I'm gonna go ahead and roll out my whole piece at one time, stick it down with the magnets, and actually start pushing my way that way, and that way, okay. So the vinyl has an air release uh, like technology in it, I guess you can say, and it makes it real simple to work with. It takes a little bit of practice, I guess, but as you can see, you can just kind of push the air pockets out. It's just kind of, they make it kind of as easy as they can for you. Uh, not saying that you can still mess it up. You have to watch yourself when you're doing this that you don't go too fast and you can actually crease it. But if you crease it, you can actually heat it up like here's a crease here and it'll actually heal itself let me see I'll show you this like this crease here looks pretty bad pretty damaging and just heat it up and it actually will just go right away you can still kind of see the line in it but it's pretty much healed once you stretch that on something it's gone but I am definitely afraid of messing up these pieces all right because they're so freaking big and I'm trying to keep the pattern uh, you know uniform like right here my cuts are gonna be just they need to be on point um, this is just insane all right like uh, going with camo on this thing is definitely a challenge so this is this is definitely up in the skill level um, but here's a little preview of what the trim is gonna look like on there and uh, looks pretty good I threw a one quick coat of paint on it and it looks 100 times better but still need to go here still need to fix the bottom the windows are gonna be mad tricky. I mean, they are just mad tricky. I'm glad I took all this trim off. But you can see here that if you have any paint defects that you will end up seeing them with these little dots. Gotta be careful not to scratch this stuff, but it's scratching on me a little bit. But uh, as soon as I get all these panels put back in, it should look pretty darn good. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited with the way it's coming out. It's coming out pretty good. This thing is gonna look hella different when I'm done. But the process is super slow. I mean, you really got to take your time. There's no way that you can just do this in one afternoon. No way. This is going to take me a couple evenings. All right, so I've been using a combination of this 3M Blue Squeegee and the Vivid Glove. Okay, honestly, in my hand, I like the glove. It does a great job of when you get this stuff warm, getting these edges down, get it warm real quick, and then you can just fill it in there. Now, I know this is way too much material here, but I'm gonna end up cutting this and then fine tuning this stuff into the edges here. These gloves, definitely, I recommend getting the glove. It's not really much heat protection, but it will definitely allow your hand to slide back and forth on the final line.
All right, so here's where camouflage gets fun, is trying to make sure the pattern matches up between the doors and the pillar. A good example is that this side here, I've already done this side. You can see how the patterns match up. I even did it where it came down here and it matched up, but all the patterns match up. This is real tricky, real tricky to get. <laughs> where it all breaks and stuff like that, so. What do you think? Whoa! Do you look crazy or what? <laughs> Freshen the skirts up with the, the trim and bumper paint by rust -Oleum. These should be a big upgrade over the stock halogens. Just want to thank Bossa again for sending these out for me to try. Partner up some new headlight bulbs. This thing's gonna be awesome. I'll try these out later on when I get this thing all back together and I go on the test drive, but this is pretty sick. <laughs> So what I've learned, the trick is, is this whatever you're trying to wrap, just try to get it on your item as tight and smooth as you can, and that'll make your life a lot easier when it comes to getting the bubbles out of it. So like, if you can try to put it on without having any, any little fingers in it, it'll lay down nice and flat. And when you get it warm, it makes it easier. Especially with the pattern that this one is, it's a little, seems like it's a little thicker, a little harder to use, maybe. But, you just gotta practice messing with it. Get it on there smooth. It's kind of hard when you do pieces, because there's nothing holding it for you. I feel like I'm having a hard time getting it where I want it because nothing's holding it for me. So when you do this stuff like on the car, it can be a little easier because the car is holding your stuff. But like that, it's kind of smooth. There's still a big finger here, but I think I can get that out here after I get this done right there. And if you heat it up a little bit and you I smooth it down, it goes down a little bit easier. But practice, 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 really. And you'll get it. It has this air release inside of it. And it works pretty darn good. This Vivid Vinyl is pretty awesome. It's on there smooth. Get these corners here. I'm gonna heat this up and pull it over this corner. scratch it or whatever you can just heat it up and it kind of heals itself and again this is kind of difficult because nothing's holding it for me let me just smooth those guys right out All right. pretty good like this if I heat this up it'll just kind of fall and on these corners I'll end up just pulling it and I'll kind of hold it where I need it to go Let's 
so. That's just rough cut. All right, guys, it's a little windy outside. Hopefully you can hear me. But yeah, the CRV it came out great. What do you guys think? You know, tell me down below. Um, the Vivid Vinyl, it worked out perfect for this thing. I mean, it was pink before, and now it's like this crazy black. The new headlights, the new bulbs from Balsa, it was, they're just terrific now. You can totally see at night when I drive this thing around. I'm throwing some old work wheels on it. Totally changed this thing. Everywhere I go, people are staring at me. Uh, there's all kinds of up and down comments, you know, like they're just looking at me like they hate it or they freaking love it. For the most part, everyone I talk to, they freaking love this car. They can't believe it. Anybody that's seen it before cannot believe the transformation of this thing. So yeah, hit up Vivid Vinyl if you want to transform your car. And uh, yeah, tell me what you think down in the comments below. And uh, if you want to see this car on the channel a little bit more, you got to hit that thumbs up button. You got to leave comments and tell me what you think. Hopefully this video was entertaining. Hopefully the last couple of videos were entertaining. And yeah, if you have any questions, just hit me up down below. You can find me on Instagram. And uh, yeah, you guys take care of yourself. Have a great weekend. Later, guys.